Hey guys, quick story while it's still fresh in my head. Um, I went ahead and had to use my firearm again today. It's again, nothing too exciting, just for pest control. I went ahead and implemented a few things that I practice on the range that I think you should practice too. And I'll go ahead and tell you the short story. Um, I was on some private property for an orchardist. He has some apple bins lined up and uh, I approached a hillside and saw a rabbit running underneath the, um, the runners of the side of the bin, a space about that big. So from eight yards, I took a knee against a dirt pile and I used my tiny little nine millimeter this tiny little nine millimeter, and I fired five rounds at the moving rabbit through the bin runners that are this big from eight yards away. I struck him twice. I'm pretty sure one was a ricochet, but by any stretch, I got him. And uh, what they weren't very good hits. He was still squirming around and trying to crawl away with his two front legs. And me being a hunter, I like a fast ethical kill. So, uh, you know, ethics being what they are. So I went ahead and approached the front of the bins where there are no runners, and I leaned down sideways, um, knelt down on the ground, put my face to the ground, and one-handed my gun sideways while using my handheld flashlight in my left hand, by, like the old, uh, the old school police technique used to use, um, the old over-underhand thing. Um, fired one shot, limp-wristed it, and uh, had a failure to feed, or excuse me, failure to eject, um, malfunction from limp wristing it with one hand shooting sideways, you know, it is what it is, so my bad. Um, went ahead and uh, shoved the flashlight in um, using my thumb, this flashlight to be exact, went ahead and pushed it in farther so I could use these three fingers to clear the malfunction, took one more shot, ran out of rounds, rabbit still twitching, so went ahead and drew an extra magazine, dumped the old one, went for a um, slide lock reload, accomplished the reload, picked my flashlight back up and reassessed the target. He'd stopped moving. I knew he was dead. I didn't need to fire any more shots, but by any stretch of the imagination, things to practice um, and things you should probably be good at if you're ever going to use your firearm in real life for any purpose, really. Shooting at a distance, even with a small firearm. Um, accurate follow-up shots. Uh, using a handheld flashlight, shooting in awkward positions, clearing malfunctions, and reloading. Um, all in one go. So, if I had to do it, you might have to also. So, practice.